after you have installed the GitHub extension for Visual Studio, and you follow the directions to connect to GitHub, uh, then you should see add to source control in the lower right corner of your Visual Studio window. And you're gonna wanna click on that. And then you're gonna choose Git. And let's see, it looks like, and I thought I got rid of that. You guys are gonna to wanna to make sure that all your repos are public so I can see them. And I'm gonna pause this a second. Well, even though I renamed my uh, app from last year, it still thinks it's there. So I am just gonna call this 2021. All right, so that kind of takes care of that conflict. Um, and make sure you guys make them public. And that should really be all you need to do. So I'm gonna click on create and push. And it should be added to my repositories online. And I'm gonna pull this over so you guys can see that it did add it. Uh, it's, it considers it HTML because of the views. Uh, those are all razor views and they end with CH, CS HTML. And that is why it uh, considers this to be an HTML project. Uh, there is a way to change that and I'll show you that later in the course. Um, if there is a problem uh, with your repository, uh, you certainly can remove it and then push it up again. Make sure that you come in. I can't even tell you the number of students who send me a link to empty repositories. So make sure, I mean, it's not enough that you just you know click on it. Make sure that your folders and everything are here uh, because that's what I need to see. <laughs> so if there's nothing here, uh, then it did not work, okay? Um, and so uh, you should probably get a hold of me so I can help you. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change this so that it actually detects that it's a C-sharp file. I'll just go ahead and show you that. Now, uh, we are gonna go into Git Attributes. And then uh, you'll notice most of this is commented out. That's what the hashtag does. There's one line that is not. And below that line, we are going to add another line. So we have to edit this. And so basically uh, this is just telling it not to detect CSHTML when it is trying to figure out what kind of project it is. Um, and if it doesn't detect all of the CSHTML files, then it will correctly label this as C sharp. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this or commit it. Okay, and then once I do that, you'll notice that now it is gonna show it as a C-sharp file because that's the largest percentage language that it is recognizing once we tell it not to look at the CSHTML. So how do you turn this in? Uh, open the app just like this, click up on your address bar, press control and the letter C 
and that will copy it. And then you can just paste it right into the Moodle Dropbox. Now, what happens if you make a change and you need to, you know, upload it again? Well, you can push your changes. I mean, if you're comfortable doing that, that's fine. Uh, you could also just delete this and push it up again. So to delete it, you have to go into settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and where it says delete this repository, click on the link, and then you have to basically key in the name as shown that you want to delete. Okay, and once you key it in as shown, you can click on the button. And the other thing that you have to do if you want to delete and push it again, and this next step is probably more important, uh, inside your MVC app, inside that folder, you're going to see a Git folder. This folder is added once you have pushed your project to GitHub. So you're going to need to click on that and delete it. Just press the delete key, send it to the recycle bin. And once you do that, when you go into Visual Studio and you open up the app, you will see, you know, the add button that you saw before. Okay. Um, if you don't get rid of the Git folder, it's going to look like this because it's going to assume that you want to push your changes. So if you go into the Team Explorer, okay, that is where you can handle all of that. 